Hello friends and welcome back to Rocky Mountain Gardens. And if you're new here, we do everything that is pertaining to gardens and home. I love decorating and I love gardening. I love decorating my garden. And speaking of that, today we're going to be talking bird houses. Now I really like cute little bird houses in my garden and on my fence or decorating my potting shed, for example. So this is something that we can all do quite easily and we're going to do some painting today. So I have some little small bird houses that I'm going to, you know, paint them so that they fit my style, what I like to do. And that's what's great about this. You can thrift bird houses for really some bargains. This one was $1.50. Um, this one also, this little tiny one was $1.50. And then I got this one on sale for, let's see, it would be $1.75. Isn't it cute? And I like it a lot, but I'm not thrilled with this uh, roof design. So I'm going to do some sprucing up. Then I have a wooden um, birdhouse that I found at Hobby Lobby when the wood products were 40% off. So I'm going to be doing a unique design on this one and trying some new painting techniques that you might like to try yourself. And lastly, I have this cute birdhouse on a stand. I think this one will go into my shed my potting shed, but guys, this one, let's see, thrifted also, and it was only $1.50, can you believe that? So with a little paint and a little care and some easy painting techniques that all of us can do, because believe you me, I am no painter. <laughs> I'm not artistic, let's say. I'm just a good uh, copier. I take things and I kind of, change colors or make it be the way I want it to be and you can do that too. So let's go ahead and start painting. We'll start today with this very small birdhouse that I got thrifting. You can see it has a tin roof which I'm going to leave as is but I am painting the body of the birdhouse this pretty pink color. Those of you who know me realize I do love pinks. <laughs> and I decided to do some mandala artwork on this birdhouse. As you can see, I am using a, an embossing tool actually and the eraser on a pencil to create the dots that I need and want to see on my design of my birdhouse. And mandala art is something that I originally learned about from one of my gardening friends, Joan. She does beautiful mandala art on clay pots, for example. They're just fantastic. Now in birdhouse number two, I have this old beat up house that actually got hit by hail and it also was blown off the stump. I had it sitting on many times. It got banged around. And so I'm going with a completely different look today with this pretty purple color as the base for my house. As you can see here, I'm painting it on with a larger brush. Now the flower itself, I have chosen to make a pink color on the petals 
And guys, I highly recommend if you're considering doing a project like this to go on to Pinterest. I would say one of the hardest things for me is choosing colors. In fact, I procrastinated on this project for a while because I couldn't decide on the colors that I wanted to use. But Pinterest really helped me with some samples of different birdhouses and uh, the color combinations that different artists had used on their birdhouses. It really helped me choose what colors to use. And here I'm doing the leaves and the stem on this flower with a very pretty sort of chartreuse green. And then I decided to add some blades of grass to the bottom of this birdhouse to give it a look as if the flower is growing right out in my yard. And I used two different shades of green to achieve what I hope is a natural look. Here I am painting the base. Originally, I had thought that I would paint the roof brown again as it was originally, but I decided a nice dark gray would go better with the colors of the birdhouse itself. So doesn't it highlight the swirls that are imprinted onto the tin on this roof? It really makes them stand out, it looks so pretty. And then I'm using a darker green to add the veins of the leaves. You can see the grooves are already in the metal and it was very easy to just draw them in. And on this birdhouse I did some mandala dots again and here you can see how it's really easy. I have to tell you this type of artwork and um, there are lots of really nice instructional videos on how to do mandala art on YouTube, actually. And I particularly wanted to recommend an artist that I watched for, you know, really learning how to put these together. And her name is Sue Sloan, and she has a great first tutorial video that I'm going to link in the, my, the uh, description box below my video here. If you like this look and would like to try it, go ahead and click on that link so you can see her example of how to produce this. You'll be surprised at how easy it actually can be. I really liked this birdhouse on a stand, but it was so dull and I wanted to make it more cheerful and bright. The first thing I did was use a gray paint to sort of give a pattern of tiles on the roof of this. And I think it really brightened up the roof especially. And then here for the body of the house, I'm using a sort of barn red color really pretty and bright. And don't forget you can always use different size brushes to get in little tiny spots that you need to fill in on a project like this. It's not hard and like I've said before in other videos it's a little bit like painting in a coloring book where you already have the shapes and designs there all you need to do is color in the lines <laughs> and so that's all I do and 
very easy doesn't require any artistic talent it actually is just you know being careful that you're coloring in those lines And I chose a slightly prettier green, dark, but having a little more, I don't know, green touch to it for the base of this piece. And in order to make the moon stand out a little bit better here, I used a yellow. That really added a lot to the design, I think. My next birdhouse is this cute little one. And oh my gosh, I saw on the original tag that this thing sold for $38. Could you believe that? And I got it for, I think, about $1.75 or maybe $2 at the Goodwill. I can't quite remember precisely. I'm not going to paint the entire house. I like the roof color, but I'm not a fan of that very blah pinkish color that was on the top of the roof. And then I'm using a lemon yellow to cover up the orangey um, sort of highlights on the base of the house and also adding pink to the flowers. Because, you know, again, pink is my color. And then and then I will be adding some bright lemon yellow also to the center of the flowers. And this gives me the color palette that I enjoy. Now this Hobby Lobby bare wood birdhouse I am using a palette of various blue colors, starting with this turquoise for one of my main colors. I was surprised how easy this went on, and it was uh, easy to actually to do just one coat. Very surprised. I thought it would take two, but it covered the birdhouse, the wood quite well. And guys, I am using acrylic paints only, not chalk paints. The reason for that is some of these, like this one here, is going to be outdoors. And I chalk paint, I was worried the rain and the weather would really wash the chalk paint away, even though I'm using protective coating on top of it. Um, I felt like acrylic paint would hold up better outdoors. So you can see all my little acrylic bottles there in the background. Now for the roof, I chose a dark blue color as a contrast to that turquoise shade. And I think those two look really pretty together. And this is one that I got the idea for the color combination from Pinterest. Pinterest can really be your friend when you're working on projects like this. <laughs> Lastly, this pale blue color is on these little I don't know what they're called, little ridges that stand out that separate the two stories of the birdhouse. And I really like the combination of the three blue colors. I just, blue is another favorite of mine. And guys, if you have favorite colors, like if you love the yellows, the oranges, and the reds, that those warm colors, you use those in your projects if those are your favorites. I'm more of a cool color person, 
So blues, pinks, and purples are more for me. And here, guys, you can see a little bit about doing mandala. Here I am with my pencil. And you can see you go on fourths of a circle, top, bottom, and the two sides. Then you can take an embossing tool and put a dot right in the middle between all of the pink circles. And then lastly, you can fill in the spaces between with more white dots. Doesn't that look cute? Now on this last birdhouse, I'm sorry I forgot to show you what I did with it to film it. I love the look of the flowers, the purple flowers around the edges of this. I think that whoever did this, uh, this is another thrifted birdhouse, did a fantastic job, but I didn't like that brown color of the roof. So I painted it a dark blue color and put some striations of a lighter pale blue color in it. Be sure to stay till the end of the video so you can see those finished birdhouses and where I placed them. So using two coats of this matte clear two times finish that is from Rust-Oleum. It is UV resistant, great for outdoor projects. And I'm going to go ahead and give, like I said, two coats of this spray on my new birdhouses. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel, guys. And this is Mary saying bye for now.